Okay, down back. Uh, what was I doing? Well, anyway, I'm going back to putting some screws in this thing that I just broke, the plastic part. The dial, dial gauge there, the dial container for the dryer. Uh, I think I'm going to lift it up. See if it might be... I think I'm going to lift it up. There we go. See if it might be better to put the screws in from the bottom. Oh, now I see. Huh. Then I suppose there's a right there. You put a screw in right there. So you can when it before I broke it, you could get it. You could actually get it off from the top. It's it's really, I saw those before and I didn't. That's the ones I guess I saw. They have a. I think it's a metal bracket. That. Uh, I think putting the screws in from the bottom will be better. So I think I'm going to try turning it around. I uh, guess I better do this. So as not to cause more damage. Sometimes. Everything. A lot of sharp stuff. Once you get that open. Sometimes. I guess I could bring the. Instead of turning that little heavy dryer around and around and around, just move the camera. I don't. I know the light's not optimal this direction, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I've got my tripod legs spread out real wide again, because it, that's good to keep it from falling over. But it won't go through. <laughs> it won't go anywhere. Okay, let's see. Not quite sure where I'm going to need it yet. Just kind of put it right in the middle there. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, I was thinking I would put the lighting back to normal. I'm afraid you, I don't know if that's good the way I'm doing that. I know one thing, if I turn on my drop light, then uh, it still gets too bright. I'm kind of wanting it, though, to see better. I just can't see uh, in the dim light. Still recording and everything. Yeah, okay, seems to all be working. I'm going to get my drop light. Plug it up. Let's see if it looks like it works with it on that setting. I think I already tested it and it didn't, still didn't make it to where you could, you know, see in the, the camera could see with this light on. Let's see here. Okay, now I'll take it up here and hang it on the wall. Oh, I am so dizzy tonight. I'm every other step. Wanting to fall down. Uh, oh why? Okay, let's see. Yeah, that gives me the light I need. That didn't hurt anything because I, I put it up high where it can't see the bulb. But there's a there's a bracket. That's metal. That must have been what went flying that I heard. But it would have flew down in here, and I heard and it, I heard something going that way. Doesn't make sense. But, uh, you know, I, oh, I see, that's broke, okay, that's got to be broke, too, that's the one, so there was really only one hole in it on the back side, there may have actually originally been, oh, there was, there was a tab here, that's what broke, there's a tab, that was probably another tab, so it had four tabs and this metal bracket in the front, so, uh, yeah, so what I need to do then is just put a screw through there. Make sure I'm hitting something. Oh yeah, you have to hit the plastic. Okay. So yeah, okay, I think I can see where to put my screws now. And I will use the... Uh, 
Every time I move things around, then I need them moved again. This old thing here is not of any use to me anymore. Well, I mean, it not right now. It was pretty handy. Put it back in the box it came out of. Okay. Uh, guess I can take my note off of here for now. Now, let's see if I can open this without dumping it. Nope, you can't. Okay, every time I open my Sears Craftsman bits, quick bits set, everything falls out of it. It had some gummy sort of glue stuff that used to, why is it not moving right? That used to hold it in and you could do it like that. It doesn't hold anymore. I guess I should try to glue it again. Okay, that's what I want. I'm running a Phillips screw, running, not ruining, hopefully. A Phillips screw in there. So I don't want the impact because um, it's just not, it's too fast. I can't, can't, I can't stop it fast enough. So for this, I just want this drill. Oh, I gotta put a battery in it. It won't work without a battery. Uh, I'm getting my gloves because Where's the drill I want? That's one of the one with three bars. I want to go ahead and use use up the uh, one that was down to two bars first. Yeah. So uh, yeah, these at five amp hour batteries are awesome. This thing works now like a regular drill, you know, with AC power. I grinded. Let's see. I remember I was looking back through the videos while I was grinding the glue off of the the front where I put the new felt on the drum on the door for the drum. I think it was well. I know the whole there was. A, I don't remember how. I think I was actually grinding it. See one full 24 minute video. That's how long the videos do on this. Before it starts another one on this camera, and uh, then maybe another 10 or 15 minutes. Anyway. Now, I can't use gloves to do this part. Got to be able to hold on. I, I might want to get my... Yeah, I'm glad I got them here. I think starting one of these screws... I just remembered some of these don't. I remember these are used screws. That's the ones I'm going to use. they got big heads, not too big a diameter. You don't need a huge diameter to hold plastic on. And plus, if you start smaller, if uh, if it pulls out... Uh, that would be preferred to break in the plastic off anyway. But if it pulls out, let's see, uh, those are going to clamp too tight. I think I'll use the needle nose. Then you can go a bigger screw. But if you start with a pretty good size screw, then you got no leeway. But I think it'd be better to hold it with that to get started. And then, oh yeah, I got to get some pressure against it to put my hip on it. Yeah, I think I know where to go, so I may have to I'll see if I can start it without having to hit it with a punch. No, nope. looks like I'm going to have to hit it with a punch. It didn't walk too bad, but <laughs> these, these, I'm pretty sure, well, I don't know if all of them have been used, but i got to go get my punch. Wait, I have one right here. Oh, I got a good punch right here, but I don't have my hammer. I don't want to get. I don't want just to tap it with something light, like the, like the baby vice grip. Get the little hammer. Whew! I ate me a protein bar, and it should make me feel good better pretty soon. But I guess that's why I'm dizzy because I've been too long since I ate. Okay, one there. Well, let's don't punch the other one until I see if this is a successful spot. Because I don't know yet. I haven't done it yet. If I need to, I could drill a hole. Well, if I don't drill a hole, I don't have to waste these self-starting drill bit screws. OK. 
Okay. Now, I want it to be straight on, but it's going to have to be a little bit of angle just so I can hit it. Well, unless I take that. I wonder if, no, that'll go way down. Yeah. Uh, if I take this, what's keeping it where it is, is I've got a, a bracket, a, a loom for the for the power cable to keep it from getting up against that vent stack when it's hot. And that's what's keeping it there. And if I take it out, it'll go way, I guess it'll go all the way back till it hit the, you know, I pull the wire, it must pull the wires too much even. Uh, I usually always have it against the wall, you know, to stop it. Going crooked on me. Hold still. There we go. That was working. Let's take it easy. Uh, I guess I ought to get my Phillips screwdriver. I'll get it right now because I might hit it one more time. That thing is really powerful with the with the. Uh, I don't have a Phillips here. <sighs> Always get your Phillips screwdriver. You're going to end up needing it. I, I was not planning on having to do any real work, so I just had what kind of popped into my head at the time when I started. Okay. Oh, it didn't go through the plastic yet. It just pushed it away. Oh, I guess I forgot to put my leg up against it. Yeah. I really need to clamp it somehow. There we go. Oh, it's just when I get it far enough for it to uh, set down where it belongs, then the uh, no more threads holding on. So I'm going to take it all the way out again. I said I'm going to take it all the way out again. Well, I'm going to leave it because it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to put a clamp on it because it's not happy. Screwdriver. I don't have enough room for all those tools in there. It's either... Oh, I don't need that utility knife in there. I really do want the screwdriver in there. Not on the ground. Oh yeah, this one has another pocket. Wrong way, huh? You couldn't see it no matter what. Camera's up too high. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got my... These are not near as good as jeans. There's Route 66. of. Back in 2000, I needed new new clothes for my new job, and I just didn't want to pay what they were charging for Levi's. I've worn them all my life. That's what I always liked, and uh, bought like 10 pairs or something. <laughs> this, I think, yeah, this pair that's still looking all right, I kept in my backpack as you know, to just grab and go for like till about. I don't know when now, five or ten years ago, I don't remember. So they were like new when the other ones were just completely. I think I have another pair that can still be worn, but anyway. Uh, back to the work. Okay, clamp. Yeah, because it doesn't it, it doesn't want to drill in that plastic as easy as I thought it would. Ah. Uh, I don't know what I need. I think, well, let's try getting out. Everything's hard to get to. That's why I'm growing in that moment. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Probably should have set stuff in a different order. But we'll see. So I got to get, uh, just go ahead and get it. I have to move several things to get to my clamp. I'm just going to get my, uh, and the ladder came with, with my chair. Anytime I get near my chair, the ladder with my chair legs, my rolling chair, I found a good lock washer. I'm going to put it somewhere. Must have dropped it at some point. Okay. Can I reach it? Where are you? There you are. At least I didn't have to pull everything out of there. I think this will get wide enough. And if it reaches into the slot I got to get into, then I've only got one of these, but it's always been, I've always kind of wished I had a whole bunch of them, but generally don't absolutely need another one. I hope it gets it wide enough. I've seen, I've seen so many videos on how to make these things. 
Yeah, it doesn't open up enough. Why didn't? Well, I didn't. I could have told without doing all that. I have a couple of pipe clamps, but I don't know where they are, and I've got to get by all the junk I drug out to get to it and open the door. Let's see. I thought I. I don't know if I forgot to put my leg up against it or what. Let me try one more time with, you know, without a clamp. Wait. No, it wouldn't. Well, I can try it. I can try to just clamp on that little... Yeah. Oh, I don't think it'll fit in there. Get a hold of anything. Where's my screw going to be? My screw still in there? I'm going to try getting this on there. I think I might be able to clamp exactly. I just don't want to drill a screw into this nice wood clamp. I think I can still open it up enough. Maybe not as big as this thing is. It's kind of on a... Even though you turn them both at the same time, they still get... They don't do evenly all the time, every time. Kind of have to. Yeah, if you uh, you saw what I was doing, I guess flipping them. You may know that already. Anyway, I'm getting it bigger or smaller. I always get confused about that. There we go. That may do it. See if I can open it enough to put the screw in it. Nope. Okay. There's that screw. I know it didn't feel like it was in the hole anymore. So let's just try putting some pressure with my leg on it. How about, where's my giant hose clamp? To uh, you C clamp. I think it might be back up in there where this was. While I'm here, well, let's just try it. If I can do it without it, then I will. Because as you can see, it's getting to be a pain I'm trying to find a clamp that can fit in that spot. Okay, where's that? Need those uh, needle nose again to get that, to hold that, get it. Back in there without getting myself, getting myself. I think I was on it, or I, I might have forgot to try to do that. I think it went right in there. Yeah, this metal is fairly thin, so going into the plastic might give me better bite. You know, I was thinking to get it, you know, be better to go through the metal to get the, to do the holding. But the more I looked at it, I thought, that's just not going to be, it's too, I have to go at too much of an angle that I didn't want to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it worked. I was able to do it. I was thinking of putting two in there. I think I may. I mean, I got to put one on the other side too. And uh, it didn't pop up from where I thought it would. I must have got closer to the. Uh, well, I didn't see it. How's that possible? Oh, there it is. Oh, I barely got the, caught the plastic. So. Well, I'll do another one like that, and then... But I need to get closer to... Oh, if I can, I need to get closer in. That makes the screws not be sticking out down there, underneath there, to be a good thing to grab, grab you. Green on cut you. Well, there's... A, well, that one that one's not sharp, really. This one... Well, that one's been... I might have done that, because I can't imagine factory making those rounded off unless they're old enough that they actually 
came that way, not quite so sharp and dangerous. I don't remember them being that way back in the 70s and 80s, and I think this thing was made in 93. Yeah, I might have got cut on that when I had this open and did something about it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I barely got the plastic. I got it, but barely. So, I'm wondering how I did it. Missed it. Almost missed it, because you shouldn't. Feeling of it there. Maybe this other one wider than that one? Don't know. Okay, one more. One more of these. I think I'm going to have to try and do it. I see. Yeah, I'm going to try to get a little further. I don't know if I can get a good press on there like that or not. We'll try it. Can't aim it, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't punch it yet. I need to be back there behind it in order to... Where's my hammer? In order to, uh, don't want to lose my screw, put it in my watch pocket. Yeah, let's see. I gotta put my leg up against it as a to brace it. Okay, yeah, now I see how come I barely got it before. Just make sure I'm hitting something solid, okay. Right there. Okay. Screw. Needle nose. I got it started in the plastic. As long as I push with my leg, make sure I'm not pushing it the other way, the way I'm on there. It got a little crooked, that's for sure. That's all we want to do there. It's a little awkward. Let's go around. Something gooey up in there. Probably grease. Probably no place on this thing where grease hadn't got for me greasing the bearings, the ones that come with it, and the ones I made. And, and the stuff they used to, you know. Manufacturer will protect. They used to put, I guess, you know, I never knew what it was called. Dielectric grease is what they used to put dielectric grease on uh, electrical wiring a lot in appliances and stuff. Keep it from corroding. Okay, still going to have to punch again. I'm going to, let's flip it up and look at it and then. I'll look at it and tell. Yeah, no, that's right where I wanted it. Oh! Well, that doggone thing it fell sharp now. Is that the. Yeah, that's the drill bit. It got extra sharp when, I, when it went through there this time. Or maybe that one was just sharper. I don't know. It should have got duller. Okay, so there's screws in the front that come in through there. And yeah, that would even 